Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Vixie, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of March. You might know I'm doing a flip through of January, January in my V6dology. Check her out, look at this, chunk start, love it. Let's get into January. I feel like I've got a lot to say today and as a result, this could be a long video. I'm gonna try and keep it short though because no one needs to hear me rambling. But anyway, so these are my beginning pages into January. I always have a little mini calendar here and this is purely decorative. This is not something that I ever refer back to or even use and I made this myself in Canva. And then because it is the year of the tiger, I decided to create an entire spread actually, several pages, two pages, three pages um, of information about the tiger which I also made myself in Canva. Then we have my what I'm watching, playing and reading list and my monthly goal sheet. I actually did really, really well for my monthly goals. Like I'm really, really proud of myself. I got pretty much everything done here that I wanted to get done, except I didn't go back on keto. We're not gonna talk about that. I did not go back on keto. As my reading list, I picked up a couple of new books on, in January. I started reading A, a Court of Frost and Starlight. Didn't uh, finish it. I haven't DNF'd it. I just stopped reading because I just wasn't in the mood, I guess. I just wasn't, I just wasn't in that mind frame to be reading that series again. I started a new book called Curious and DNF'd it at 20% because it was just terrible. And another one called Popstar, which is like a super trashy romance. And it's my favorite sort of romance, actually. Um, I'm not done with it. I'm still going like it's March. It's a very short read. It's like 500 pages, but I just, I don't know. I haven't been able to get into it and like read a lot. Like I'm just not reading at all. Um, and then I was watching Witcher 2, what started and finished Witcher 2. Uh, Gilmore Girls, because my 16 year old started watching them and loving it and Manifest, which I'm on the fence about, to be honest. All right, here's my mood tracker. I know a lot of you are really interested in this. I had a decent month. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst by any stretch. I was mainly neutral throughout it. So, I mean, that's, I suppose it's not either positive or negative, but at least I didn't like go completely down into a downward spiral. I, I am spiraling, but at the time, this isn't so bad. Right, my mood reference page. This came in so handy because now as I flip back, I can see, okay, I had a, a rough couple of days here. Why was that? So I can look on the 6th. It started around the 6th. I can look on the 6th and say, oh, okay, this was when we had our house inspection and the realtor who came in, she didn't come in wearing a mask. At the time we had mask mandates. We don't now, but at the time we had mask mandates and social distancing and all of that. But she came in wearing no mask. She had the sniffles and she was trying not to cough like in an obvious way. And as we were talking, as she was going around the house taking her photos, she informed me that her son's best mate who had been staying with them for the last six days tested positive to COVID like two days prior to her coming to my house. And then I went into like this massive cleaning frenzy. So that is why I was so, so stressed. I was waiting to see if anybody was gonna get, you know, get symptoms or whatever. Thankfully, no, but you know, it was a very stressful few days. But anyway, so as I, my point of that is when I come back and I look at my mood reference sheet, I can see, okay, this is why, this is why I was having this type of a reaction for a few days, you know? So this has become really, really important to me and it's really, really helpful. And I will be using this going forward for, the foreseeable future. This is my medication tracker or my supplement tracker. This was just a test run to see if I was going to use it. And as it turns out, I do. This is one of my most used inserts that I have. I just made this myself as well. I made this myself in case you can't tell it's janky as hell. Also this myself. And this kind of works hand in hand with this and my mood tracker as well. So I can kind of see, you know, do any of my bad days correlate to any days here where I was perhaps not taking medication or my supplements or anything that I know that works for me with my anxiety or, you know, anything like that. And I also started tracking my bad ADHD days because I have adult ADHD and I'm currently unmedicated. And I wanted to see if there was some kind of correlation possibly between, you know, my bad ADHD days and my anxiety, if, if they kind of worked hand in hand. Like I, I'm just tracking a bunch of things right now and just sort of seeing where I'm at. Kind of also in regards to my cycle, I don't know whether or not hormones play um, a big part in whether or not I have a bad ADHD day. Um, but basically all that means is that um, it is a huge effort to focus or concentrate on doing anything. My mind keeps wandering and I keep getting distracted. So that's that's been really eye-opening actually, very interesting to track. And then I have my yoga calendar. Well, I mean, I use it for yoga. Uh, but it's basically supposed to be like my little exercise calendar because I had planned on getting back into doing workouts and stuff. That didn't happen. But I did want to, because I swear to God, a bug just flew on me. Oh my God. I didn't have any windows open. Where did they come from? What was I saying? Oh yes, yoga. So I found that uh, when I actually actively put down stickers for the days that I do my yoga, I want to keep doing it. And I swear to God, it's only for the act that I get to put down stickers, but whatever, it's motivating. And so I'm going to keep doing it. 
<laughs> but except for the last week here, as you'll see, like there were two days here in the middle of this week and a day here in this week where I didn't work out, but or when I didn't do my yoga, they're not workouts actually. It's very gentle, like gentle sleepy yoga. It doesn't put me to sleep or anything, but it helps relax me, if that makes sense. But anyway, this week here, I ran out of stickers and I didn't print my own. I have my own sticker shop. I have my own yoga stickers, obviously, because I've got them here, but I just couldn't be bothered to print any more out. And so I ran out of stickers and therefore didn't put them in, but I did do yoga that week. So there's that. Then I have my event calendar. This is very boring. I didn't pretty it up at all. I think normally I do. And I honestly, I don't really remember. I'd have to go back through my January setup to find out why I didn't bother doing anything with this, but I just didn't. <laughs> but this is my event calendar. So not a whole hell of a lot going on in January. This is a freebie from the Grumpy Tortoise. You just have to join her Facebook group and it's in, it's linked in, it's linked in there. Then I have my Instagram tracking calendar and so here is where I track all of my followers and then the amount of times I post every month didn't do very well here and then I had like an overall goal for the month of reaching 800 followers didn't quite get there it was kind of close though then I have my YouTube tracking calendar same kind of thing I track all of my subscribers here and then I also put in you know where I've um, filmed what I've posted you know that kind of thing and then I've got in pencil I'm not sure if you can even read that but in pencil here I've got what I want to do on that day so on this particular like on Fridays for example I wanted to do like a flip here or a plan with me or something and then I would post it that following you know the following Monday didn't get around to doing that for whatever reason I was probably extremely busy again grumpy tortoise um calendar then we just move into the week so I always start off my weeks with a weekly overview that's really really important to me because I need to see at a glance what's going on for the week or what I did for the week and then I just have um a um what is this it's like an a um what is this called Illuminati eye, <laughs> which I printed out. I just printed this on some glossy paper that I had laying around and I printed this vellum, like, I don't even know, just, I had some purple background image or something. I'm pretty sure I just found that on Google. So I just printed out the Illuminati eye and put it on the vellum, which I then tipped in. And then I put a acetate overlay, which I made myself, which actually the foiling looks really good on this. There's only a couple of little black spots, but Nothing I'm mad about. So, I, But I really, really just really like how this turned out. I don't have anything here. I couldn't think of what to put here, so I didn't put anything. And then the first week, so I did change up my layout. I just want to sort of change it up a little bit because I wanted to go back to using a time daily. This did not work out for me at all. I just didn't have enough space to write down all of the crap that I wanted to write down. Um, so this was my high, high anxiety day when the realtor came out. Um, still trying to work with the small time daily. It really just wasn't working. <laughs> I really like how this page turned out though, but I'm pretty sure it's just because I, what's what I'm looking for? Not diligent, but I was really good about my writing and I was slow and I didn't like just try and scribble everything down. Um, but I just like how it all turns out. I think my writing looks really good on this page. From here down though, like from here on, it just gets terrible. Like as you can, hi, it just, it gets really bad. This is the second week now and this is another little dashboard and, um, I don't even know, splash page thing that I made myself. So I just printed this. Um, this was just another background that I found off Google somewhere. And it's just, it's meant to be galaxy themed. Um, so I just printed that onto vellum and stuck it in. And then I have my hiking through the galaxy alien dude. I just printed that on like glossy paper, put it in. And then I have my star acetate. This is the very badly foiled star acetate that I did myself. I don't know if you can tell, but look at that. Can you see the black on that? <laughs> Where the toner didn't adhere to the foil properly. It's dreadful. Um, this kit is from Plan So Cute, I want to say. This is one of her mini kits. It's really, really cute. Um, this washi is Simply Gilded. The little snail is Layla's Loft. The AMPM and this little working girl here. These are all from Plan So Cute as well. Plan So Cute is like a printable Etsy store. So you, everything that you buy there, you can just print out yourself, which is great for me because I like to do that. Um, and here is kind of where it just got like meh. You know, um, I didn't even bother coming back to Friday. Here is kind of where I started. I think this is the point where I started to just be like, yeah, I just really just CBA. I just don't want to do any of it anymore. I'm just tired of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm like on a downward spiral around this point of my life. And you'll see that now going forward. So as you can see, my writing's just getting terrible. But also um, I've went back to using a big timed daily, like all the times down the side here. And then just giving myself a little column here on the side, you know, on the right hand side to write in, you know, things that I need to get done or I have done or whatever. Um, this was a good day. All I did was draw. It was great. <laughs> but this is just not working. This is not working for me at all. I really, really wanted it to work. So here is where 
I pretty much just give up on my journal. Honestly, I don't want to do anything at this point. I don't want to sit down with pretty stickers or anything. I don't want to sit down and plan. I just want to write my ish down and check it off and be done. I'm really excited on this day. I got Holly Berry and Kingdom Cookie Run. Kingdom Run Cookies. Kingdom. What is it? Cookie Run Kingdoms. Oh my God, that took me way too long to remember. I play this game every single day, multiple times a day and can't remember the name of it. Again, like nothing. I've just, I'm trying to stick down stickers like randomly here. I don't, it just doesn't make any sense. Here, I just wrote down my personal wide ring setup because I changed it up again and I needed to write down, you know, the different category not categories, but different sections and what I was going to put in the sections and everything. So again, you know, the following week after that, I didn't even put, this is normally where I would put my weekly overview and whatever on this page. And I was just like, nah. I just CBA, didn't want to do it. So this is how my second, third week looked. Um, and as we got on through the week, I just wrote less and less down and just really just, <laughs> I don't know, just CBA. This actually is like one of my favorite pages. So I, it was my birthday in February. And so my husband and my one of my daughters got me, they made up their own little Etsy vouchers, as you can see, because I buy a lot of stuff on Etsy and I like to print out my own stickers and stuff. So. This has been really cool. I have not spent it all, by the way. I still have like a great deal of it because finding printable shops is really, really difficult. But anyway, that is it for January. It just goes straight into February, which really doesn't, it's not much better than January if I'm completely honest, but you'll see that in a minute because I'm in a filming mood and I'm just gonna go jump straight into filming February. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye everybody.